good people. Today we've got the Elk EM4 High Performance Echo Machine. And uh, this is a beauty. It's sitting on top of uh, an Elk PA. And these two, this inside of it has a picture of, of how to hook it up to this. So these were intended to be used together, although it works by itself. I'm just trying to sell it, sell us on uh, getting a PA. But let's go through this thing. Uh, I've got it hooked up to uh, uh, an old Ace Tone foot switch that doesn't come with it. But one thing I just want to show you when, you, when you hit the foot switch, it goes to a red light, which is kind of a, a neat feature. Shows you that it's not functioning and then goes to the on position. So uh, let's bring this mic over. And uh, you can adjust the volume of the mic here uh, independently. And let's uh, get some echo going. We've got, uh, I think, four, five positions here. So here's one. 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 Check. Check. Two. 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 Three seems to really repeat out. And four. Oops, that's not four, that's the one of bass. Four. Now I don't know if four is supposed to be an echo or it, it isn't. So I'm not sure exactly. Uh, what, if that's an issue or because we've got no echo on this end of the switch and no echo on this end of the switch check 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 so there may be something this is my first and only one of these I've ever uh, had any contact with so I really don't know a lot about them but this is what we're getting we got first position nothing Second position. Third position. Sounds similar. Fourth position. And final position. Nothing. Sound, but no echo. Uh, we're getting a little hum from it. I don't know if it's... We got a ground somewhere, maybe. Um... This isn't the world's most expensive mic, but it typically isn't that noisy, so we've got some something going on. So let's get some echo back. Uh, we've got speed control here. Check. 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 And then our length of repeat. Uh, check. 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 And echo. 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 This is called the repeat. Check. 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 This is the echo. Echo. No echo. 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 About half. Echo. 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 Max. Repeat. Repeat. Nothing. Nothing. Short little one. Little one. Little bit. Little bit. Halfway. Halfway. Three quarters. 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 Max. 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 About five or six. Max. shut off here and get you some close-ups of it and let you take a better look at it okay here we are a little bit of a close-up look at it and I'll pull the cover off here and show you I'll move it around so you can get a good look at it here in just a second but uh, it's kind of the idea there's that big LPA it's sitting on and again these kind of were a pair I don't know if they're a pair but they apparently were meant to be used together doesn't come with the PA uh, that's I would sell that but it, shipping that would be pretty difficult it's extremely heavy 
As for the machine itself, uh, extremely good quality. Uh, nice Tolex. Uh, we've got the inspection badge. Um, it's 100 to 117 volts, so you, you don't need a transformer if you're using it in the States. Uh, the chrome's in good shape on the cover. Uh, a little bit of rust on the screws there, but uh, all in all, it's in really good shape. Put that down. And let me get this mic back over. Now, like I mentioned in the other video, I'm not familiar with these. Uh, this is the first one I've ever had, and uh, I'm assuming that we should get some kind of an echo in E, and we're not. D. Uh, we're not getting one in D. Oh, we got to get this going. Okay, D. E. E. D. C. C. B. B. B and C almost seem the same. A. And A has nothing. Uh, here's our volume control again. And I'll just turn this all these down. And we'll switch you over to the other input. Uh, this is mic 2. Uh, mic 2. Mic 2. Mic 2. Turn that down. Get you into mic 1. And mic 1. Mic 1. And then we got a bass. 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 And there's good... Uh, treble, 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 treble. Pretty good response from those two. Uh, delay time, delay time, 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 uh, and then amount of repeat and amount of echo, echo, echo. So everything seems to be functioning here. Uh, VU meter works fine. It's just uh, this mode switch. Uh, it leaves me a little bit puzzled. Now there's one other major situation here and I'll show you that in just a second. Now I do have another ELF machine. It's not the same as this. Uh, it's a little different model. It's actually up for sale right now. Uh, and these run this Sony Endless Tape. And this is one that I've taken out of the other machine that I have just to show you what they look like. It's kind of like an 8-track tape uh, just in an odd shape and it sits I'll show you here in just a second let's turn this off uh, this should sit right on this little spindle here so we can get this up and you can look at it so it sits here and then goes uh, onto this little shaft goes through here and that's how it operates now I only have one of these I uh, didn't come with one so what I've done with this machine in order to make it usable is uh, I've taken an 8-track cassette and flipped the tape around uh, opposite so that the play side is on the inside of the tape and then routed that through the playhead. So it's working as you can see. Let's turn it back on here. Uh, and so we're running through and then we're going into the tape and then back out. And it's working, gives you some echo, but it's not the way it's intended to be uh, set up. So you, you would need to find the Sony in, Endless Tape if you wanted this to be exactly how it would have been originally. But it is functioning with this 8-track conversion. Another possibility I thought about is just putting a, a larger wheel here. And then running it like an Evans, uh, just a continuous tape loop you know a short tape running around it's another possibility let me turn this back off i just want to show you the uh image that's here and that's showing how it's hooked up to that elk unit that's below it right now and that shows how the endless tape should be run in there uh, again it doesn't come with an endless tape it comes with an eight track tape uh, that allows it to be used but is not ideal uh, let me show you some of the other angles of it here so we're going to unplug these and flip this around take a look at the bottom it's in uh, very good condition all the way around really here's our sides the back it's got a switch for to go between vocals and instruments place to wind the cable and a fuse on the rear 
Uh, handles in good shape. Chrome's decent all the way around. Again, the major issue being that we don't have the proper tape for it. So uh, that's what it is. And that's why the price is a little bit lower than normal. Uh, these are really popular in Japan. But unfortunately, I've been unable to find one of those tapes for it. So I resorted to the 8-track, and we're going to let it go the way it is if you have any interest in it. Thanks for checking it out, and check out other offerings from Vintage Audio Nagoya. Have a good night. Thanks.